Okay, so in this question we have a C and a P, and we're given our measurements as so using our elevation and our plan. Um, using the measurements, we're going to draw an oblique projection of the question. Before we draw the 3D projection part, we're going to draw the elevation view. So I'm just going to minimize this a little bit. I'm just going to zoom in on just the C because we don't need the P for just a moment. So I'm going to start off by drawing a horizontal line. Now on my horizontal line, I'm going to measure 70, 30, and just 70 and 30 for the moment. I'm going to forget about there. So 70 and 30. And from those two points, we're going to go up vertically. Now as we can see from our elevation, we've got a height here of 70 and 70. So I'm going to measure up 70 and 70. And we're going to have two construction horizontal lines. We can draw them as long as we want because they're horizontal. Now, if I look at my shape, I have a center point here, and that center point is at this point. So whenever we get a center point, as we know, I'm just going to draw a little cross to emphasize it. Now, I have a radius 50, and I have a radius 70 circle. So I'm going to start my radius 50. So on my set square, I'm going to put 50 onto my compass. Now, as you can see, it stops at the 30 line. Okay, so we're just going to darken it in here now, a little bit. Lovely. Now our next radius is 70. Okay, and those two parts now of my C can go in vertically. So we have a lovely vertical line here and here. Lovely. Now, we're just going to slide over here to my P, okay? If I look at my P, I have a few more measurements. So, I'm actually just going to bring my P here. As you can see, between the P and the C, there's a 40 mil gap. So, I'm going to start by doing that. I'm going to measure 40. And from that 40, I'm then going to go 20, 40, and 40. And from each of those points, move this over. From each of those points, I'm just going to draw a vertical line. Now, if we look, we have some heights here. I have a 40, 40, and 60. So I'm going to measure my 40, 40, and then obviously I have 60 left. So from those two points, we're going to go horizontal and horizontal. Now, if I look at my P, I'm going to have a vertical dark line here. I'm then going to go horizontal from this point. Now, from here, okay, before I do this, I have a center point here. So I'm just going to put in this center point in dark the cross. Lovely. Now, I have a radius 40 and a radius 20 circle. So I need to get two circles here. One radius 40, one radius 20. So I'm going to start my radius 40. Lovely. Then we're going to go on to my radius 20. Obviously using my ruler to put the measurements on my compass. These are semicircles, which is, which is half a circle. I'll just let just move there, mate. Okay. Now I can darken in the rest of this shape here. Okay, so there's the C and P. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out here now to question, just look, have another look at it. The next piece of information I need is the thickness of the plan. Now, when I look at the plan, if I zoom in here, I've got a thickness of 30. That means that all of my 3D drawing is going to be 30 mil thick. So I'm just going to pull this back here a little bit. I'm going to go from every single point, I'm going to go back 45 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to start with my P, 45, 45. Now, the likes of this point here, I'm not actually going to see it, so I don't have to worry about it too much, but I'm still going to bring it back. Now I'm going to put my 30 onto my compass. And I'm going to swing a nice light arc. It's very important that my arc is light for construction. Lovely. 
Okay, now I'm going to be able to darken them in. Like so. Now when we go to draw this line vertical, if I just draw it in light, you'll see that after we hit this horizontal line, you won't actually see the line. So we're only going to darken it in for that much there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I need to get my circle at my new center point. So I'm just going to indicate my new center point. Okay. And get my compass. So hopefully you can see that's the new big circle. And then my 20. Now, I'm not going to see the small circle at all, so I don't have to worry about it. But I do have to darken in the big circle. So what I need is I need essentially a point of contact between this line. So from my circle, I'm going to go to 45 degrees. It's going to give me a point. And 45 degrees, I get another point here. And when I join these together at 45 degrees, that's giving me that line there, which is extending on my shape. I can then get my compass. Okay, and that's given me the large P. Now I'm just going to go to the inside here. So that's going to come in there. Now I know it's going to actually go dark from here to here. And then this place part here is going to go up like so. So that's my P completed. Next I'm going to do these two lines. So from these two lines I'm going to go to 45. On my compass I'm just going to get my 30 mil. Lovely. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to get my center point. So I'm going to take my center point, I'm going to extend it, and yet again, I still have my 30 on my compass, so just extend that there. Please draw the little cross to show that that's a center point, and it's not just a random line. So from that point now, okay, I'm going to get, see the inside radius? So the inside radius there, I'm going to put it at this point here, and we'll extend. Now, when I go to swing my arc, I have to stop there. It does obviously continue on. However, I'm not going to see it. So I'm only going to darken in as far as this point and then the rest will be light. I'll go up here now to the top. Sorry. Okay. Now, as you can see at the back, I'm not seeing all of that until it comes around the back. I need to figure out which bit of this is going to go in dark. So from my second center point, I'm going to go at 45 degrees, and that cuts my curve here. 45 degrees here, and that cuts my curve. And then, draw my 45 degree line to make it 3D. And now I'm just going to darken in that piece here, like so. And that initial curve, I'm just going to darken in a little bit more because it's a little bit light. Sugar. Be wary of your compass moving on you. And that's the C and P completely done.